the case of Warren Jeffs. The name Warren Jeffs stands as a chilling reminder of the destructive power of manipulation and abuse. To understand the scope of Warren Jeffs' actions, we must first grasp the nature of the cult he led. The FLDS was an offshoot of the Mormon Church, founded in the early 20th century, which continued to practice polygamy long after the mainstream church had renounced it. Under Jeff's leadership, the FLDS embraced a rigid and oppressive ideology that revolved around control, secrecy, and male dominance. The cult's practices were deeply entrenched in patriarchal traditions, where women were viewed as commodities and subservient to men. Polygamy was not only accepted but considered essential for salvation, with Jeffs often arranging marriages between underage girls and older men. The cult enforced strict codes of conduct, imposing isolation from the outside world, and banning activities such as listening to music, watching movies, or even owning pets. As rumors of abuse and manipulation circulated, law enforcement agencies launched investigations into the FLDS cult. In 2005, Warren Jeffs' activities came under intense scrutiny when his nephew, Brent Jeffs, filed a civil lawsuit alleging sexual abuse. This triggered a chain of events that would ultimately expose the horrors lurking within the FLDS community. Over the following years, testimonies from former members shed light on the systematic abuse and control imposed by Jeffs and his loyal followers. Stories of forced marriages, child brides, physical and emotional abuse, and indoctrination shocked the world. Investigators worked tirelessly to gather evidence and rescue those trapped in the clutches of the FLDS, slowly dismantling the cult's stronghold. Warren Jeff's reign of terror came to a dramatic end in 2006 when he was placed on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list. He was captured in August of that year during a routine traffic stop in Nevada. The trial that followed was a highly publicized affair, shining a spotlight on the dark underbelly of the FLDS cult. Throughout the trial, survivors testified about their harrowing experiences within the cult, providing a glimpse into the insidious web of control woven by Jeffs. The prosecution presented mountains of evidence, including audio recordings of Jeffs' sermons where he boasted about his abusive practices. The defense, however, sought to portray Jeffs as a misunderstood religious leader claiming his actions were protected by freedom of religion. In 2007, Warren Jeffs was convicted on two counts of being an accomplice to rape for his role in forcing a 14-year-old girl into marriage with her 19-year-old cousin. He was later sentenced to life imprisonment plus 20 years. While this marked a significant victory for the survivors and a step towards justice, it also revealed the deep scars left on those who had suffered under Jeff's control. The story of Warren Jeffs and the FLDS cult is a haunting testament to the power of manipulation and abuse within closed communities. The investigation, capture, trial, and subsequent sentencing of Jeffs exposed the dark underbelly of the FLDS cult, revealing the immense suffering endured by its members particularly women and children. It is essential to remember and learn from such dark chapters in history to ensure the protection and well-being of vulnerable individuals and to prevent the rise of similar cults in the future. We hope you enjoyed this case overview presented by the Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content just like this.